Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys are back with NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's going on for you guys. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build Steph Curry here in NBA 2K21. So you guys are making this both here a point guard, obviously. I'm going to go with right-handed jersey number 30 and hand in this jersey number. It really doesn't matter. I'd definitely say go with the point guard though, guys. Now for this build, I'm going to be making it 6'3", 190. I'm going to go with the 6'4", wingspan. Body shape, I'm going to go with the fine. But again, you can pick whatever you want for that. Now guys, for this Curry build, obviously, like, I'm going to max his speed out. Um, excel to bring up to a 91 stamina up to a 91 now with this you want at least an 80 ball handle so you can get pro dribbles like obviously steph can maybe have that a little bit higher um and then speed with ball too i would put up decently high probably right around a 90 to be honest with you and you definitely want some pass accuracy on this build too now the thing with this is the higher you put these the more badges you get so like say you put your speed with ball to a 93 you're gonna get more badges so it kind of just depends how you want to play that i might leave it like somewhere around here um, three point shot and mid range, you're gonna want to max both those out. Um, you're also gonna want this free throw up here too. Now, the one thing with this build is you can spend it on defense, you can spend points on defense, but guys, defense is crazy expensive to upgrade. So, one thing I might do is leave this here, put this at an 80 so we can get clamps. But with this, when you spend this on driving dunk, look, okay, you can bump that up and you can go standing dunk. That's gonna give you two finishing badges. Right here, that's giving you five, which this is the best way to spend your finishing points to get badges. Otherwise, you don't get badges. There's a few things you can do and it kind of just depends how you wanna play it. Guys, realistically, I think this is the best kind of split for this Steph build. Now, the only reason I'm doing this, I'm giving this build this driving dunk is so he can get finishing badges. If you spend it on close shot driving layup, you don't get any badges. Now here we got these maxed out shooting stats. We got really good playmaking stats. We have a decent amount of finishing badges. I didn't touch perimeter D because you don't get any badges for it. Now, you can easily touch it, but it's like, it doesn't give you badges. So I'm like, why touch it? If you want the badges, go for it. But if you don't, I mean, you can go ahead and if you don't want the badges, go ahead and just upgrade your or D. But if you'd rather have badges, you're better off not touching it. So I'm going to leave it like this. We're going to finish with five, 26, 22, and seven. And it's not like Steph is really known for his defense anyway. So that's kind of where I look at it now here. He is known for his finishing and he can finish at the rim pretty well. I think it's kind of underrated. I think that's the, probably the most underrated part of his game is finishing at the rim. So again, I gave this build contact dunks and I understand Steph doesn't get contact dunks, but I'm like, for the fun of it, for a park build, why wouldn't you want to do it? So I'm going to leave it like this. Now guys, with this, obviously I'm going to go with limitless range and probably ankle breaking shots for those who take overs. And for this build here, we're going to be getting a playmaking shot creator. Now guys, this build can do a little bit of everything. We're going to get shades of Nick Van Exel, Lamelo, and Darius Garland. We didn't get his name, but again, I'm not too upset about that. But guys, with this build, you can do everything. You can play D on guards and it's like, you, you know, you're trying to score the ball, playmake with the ball. You know, this finishing isn't like the main thing. You kind of have to take a hit and I don't want to be a priority defense and have no bet. So I'm going to give this build fearless finisher and probably slithery finisher. But if you wanted, I would go with posterizer and fearless if you're going for more park based, like just for the best badges, I would put this on gold, posterizer and fearless finisher on silver. But I'm just going to do this to make it more similar to Steph, guys. And for the shooting badges, I'm going to give them deep threes on Hall of Fame, dead eye on Hall of Fame, corner and catch on bronze, circus series on Hall of Fame, Difficult shots on Hall of Fame, blinders on Hall of Fame, and I'm gonna go with Fade Ace on Silver, and then also go with Volume Shooter on Silver and go with those. For these playmaking badges, I'm gonna give them handles for days on Hall of Fame, Quick First Step on Hall of Fame, Bailout on Bronze, Ankle Breaker up to Gold, Unpluckable here on Silver. I'm gonna go with Special Delivery so we get those fancy passes. Now, I would say go with Floor General, you don't need this. I'm gonna use it though. Um, now, if you don't actually don't want Floor General, I would just go with Space Creator 2 and go with these. Um, but again, floor general is kind of optional if you'd rather have that, like, per se, unpluckable. But I'm going to go with these. Now, for these defensive badges, guys, I would give them pickpocket, interceptor. Um, honestly, you could go with worm to be more of a pest. But I'm going to go with those. And I'd probably pogo stick, uh, box, and worm on bronze and just go with these for these defensive badges, guys. But this is how I feel like you guys can build the Steph Curry build here in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more NBA 2K21 builds. But anyways, guys, Ben Clutch here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and peace out, guys. Thanks.